that, you know, Americans, you know, most Americans aren't going to fall for this shit. I mean, they're going to tell me to use a CBDC and I'm going to give them the finger. You know, I mean, the only ones who are going to accept a CBDC are the people who are desperate for cash. And of course, they'll take that because they, you know, they literally need it to live. But, um, you know, these kinds of acts and, and things are, are blatantly un-American, unconstitutional and not in the, you know, not based on the principles that this country was founded on. But what would you expect from a very, very corrupt, very, very powerful set of rulers and governors who, you know, think that they can get away with this stuff? And so my view is, as you and I were speaking about offline, our job, you know, you're doing a great job of it through your show. I do it on Twitter and other places. Our job is to try and educate as many of our fellow citizens that, hey, this stuff is bullshit. And these people are lying and they're corrupt, you know, and, and, and they say the black letter law is this and then they violate the laws. I mean, Janet Yellen tells us, you know, she flip flopped five times on whether they were going to back all the banks. I mean, this is a woman who got paid seven million dollars for giving speeches to the bank banks. I mean, what could she possibly say that's worth seven million dollars? Nothing. They gave her seven million dollars as a bribe so that she would go easy on the regulation of the banks. And that's just the way the system works as as. You know, as Carlin said, as George Carlin said, it's a big club and we ain't in it. Let me just extract even further. I mean, it, you know, how far are we away from then? You have a social credit score, right? The way the Chinese do. And so, yeah. hey, Michelle, you you know, I saw your podcast yesterday and you said something negative about the government. Well, guess oh, I'm what? I'm on the list, Larry. If this thing happens, <laughs> so I'm in trouble. We know that. <laughs> we both are. But the point is that, you know, they, 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 yes, I mean, what becomes acceptable behavior? Because they can go in and grab the money out of your CBDC. I mean. Look, we saw them do that with the Russians. You know, they they said, well, you can't invade Ukraine. We're going to take your $600 billion. Now, you know, debatable whether, you know, well, it's just, yes. I mean, the, it's it's all a mechanism for control. I mean, just just as, you know, telling us we had to take these vaccines was a mechanism of, of social control. And, you know, it, it's horrible. It's, it's absolutely horrible. So, Larry, because Bitcoin yeah. is seen by many as the alternative Yes. to this mechanism of control. Why would you be so convinced that every single action possible would not be taken to wipe out Bitcoin? Because it's the antidote to well, this control. Yeah, so, so well, no, I, I believe they may take a lot of bad actions. And I think, we again, we talked offline about this. I mean, it's possible they're going to tax Bitcoin heavily. It's possible they could outlaw us. Outlaw. It's possible they say you're going to deal with Bitcoin, you're going to go to jail for 10 years. I mean, I think at some point as the currency starts to collapse, you know, I could very easily see, and I saw a little bit of it the last time around, you know, I could very easily see people in positions of power saying, you know, these gold and Bitcoin people, they're they're really kind of ruining our monetary system. And, you know, that what they're doing is un-American. I mean, and, and just as they told us we had to buy, you know, government bonds to support World War II, you know, they're going to say these, you know, gold and Bitcoin people are bad people and we need to tax that shit like 90%. I mean, that's entirely possible. I don't, I don't you know, write that off. The thing that the thing though that here here's where I think we we ultimately win. America is not the only country in the world. There are you know 300 million of us or something. There are billions of people in the world. Okay, and um, Bitcoin's not really seizable. If you've got it on cold storage, you've got your 12 seed words. They can't take it away from you. They they might know you have it because they can follow it unless you've cleaned your coins. They can follow where you got it from. They can't really take it away from you. I mean, you're as strong as an army in terms of defending your wealth. I mean, every other time in history up until this point in time. If you had money and you didn't have the guns in the army to defend your money, they could take it from you. It was either in a bank, in which case they could see the records of the bank and take it, or it was gold or it was something that you would store. And guess what? If enough people show up with guns, they can threaten to take your gold. Well, 